more again. Hopefully, you don't mind the setup. I know it was... Well, you might have seen in the last video. I hope you noticed. <laughs> so, I just... Eventually, I was like, you know what? Why am I cutting out half the screen with me? When I can literally just shift everything to the side, you see the whole game, and then you get me. Still not too sure what to do down here. So, if you've got any suggestions, leave them down in the comments below. And I will read them. And today, we have got an exciting video because... Normally, when it comes to Jurassic Park build or Jurassic World the game, or even now Jurassic World Live, um, when you feed your dinosaurs, they eat a thing. Whether it's a goat, uh, a, a, a sheep, I, I don't know. And normally, you can't get those things. So, when we got the scorpions in Jurassic World Live, it ate locust. Which is weird, because like, well, locusts are in Dominion. But now, finally, we have... Hold on, I'm gonna get this, because... Oh, these are all free! Sweet, that's one of my missions. <laughs> we got so many! Yeah, it's like two T-Rexes. Rexes, I think. And then Sonurosaurus. We're getting a new creature. It's been put in this pass, and it is the Dodo! Mm, something that, I don't know, got really popular because of Ark. I'll, I'll, I'll be honest. The first things you ever encountered. And if you played Ark when it first launched in beta, those dodos would kill it. They would they would literally kill you. You didn't even have to punch them. They would just go for you. They were aggro. Um, and thankfully, Lydia is is now very kind. I think um, they've given me the pass, like the VIP pass. And I think the reason why they've given me the pass is because I've decided to stop playing Jurassic World Alive. <laughs> well, I still play it. I don't make videos on it because... I don't like the practices. I don't like the microtransactions and the craziness they're doing there. Just all the game, this one still has a little bit of it, but it's not as bad. The only thing that's annoying about this is that they've locked certain dinosaurs away behind paywalls, or amber paywalls, basically, which is a currency you can get in the game, but it's really hard to get to. Either way, it's not as bad as Jurassic World Alive. So, we'll quickly just hatch all of these. Yeah, Sonorosaurus. We've actually. Oh, yeah, it was the mud skipper. That's right. That's what it looked like. Gotta collect our uh, VIP points. And then. Ooh. Oh, yeah, it's Halloween. Spooky scary. I know, sorry, guys. I just like to play with the mixer. Can, can you blame me? <laughs> anyway. Uh, <laughs> we will fly back to Nublar. Oh yeah, we got lottery tickets. This was free, I think, with the, uh, what'd you call it? The free tickets I got, so 600,000. Whoa! Did we just get a pack? Wow, okay, we did just get a pack. The lottery tickets. I mean, if you win a pack, you basically have gotten your VIP points back. I think it's about 10,000, maybe, you have to spend. But already, you know, we've got over a thousand of that. But then what was the pack? It is an Ankylosaur Gen 2. Now, to get a specific pack like that, I think it's about 50,000 you have to spend. Or, you know, I mean, look at that. 7,500 DNA. <laughs> Good God. As well as getting 2,600 back. Let's have a look. Our curiosity. It's... I was wrong. I spent 1,200 at a gamble and got loads more points back. Look at me. <laughs> I'm a professional, me. Oh, zinc for that. that. That's it. We've opened all the packs we need to, I think, for the missions. Um, let's have a look. I do want to get more dodos. And to do that, we need to do more VIP missions, basically. I've yet to really look at them. But, I mean, a lot of them you can just kind of grind through. I know someone who's like, bro, just spent 30 million just to skip battles. <laughs> Guys, I, I can click on this Indominus Rex statue and get like 60 million a day. <laughs> it doesn't cost me anything. Um, you obviously haven't been copying my technique of just putting fountains around every bloody thing. Is it, does it work as a park? Probably not. But does it make me money? Yes. Of course it does. So another Sonorosaurus. Um, I'll fly back here. Now we've got the T-Rexes to plop in. Oh, sorry, I should say Rexies. I think we've... Oh, we don't have one level 40, actually. So that's... Oh, God, no. No, don't do that one. We don't need to hatch anything just yet. So we've got three of those, which is pretty decent. 
Also, I got like a free extra use out of one of these, like a free splicing lab. And I think one of the missions was to fuse herbivores. So just going to use that to slowly progress through the monthly or weekly mission. I can't remember which one it is. Click one of those. What's the weekly? Let's have a look. Hatch two legendaries. Um, use prize drops, which we can't. Speed ups is fine. Really, I got two days to do these. Use reefs. Use 40 carnivorous creatures. Easy peasy. Complete 25 battles. I think even losing or skipping a battle counts towards that. So that's easy. And really, we've got a whole month to get these. So almost done that. What have we got? <gasps> oh, you know what we should do? Ooh, Amber Motorcycle. What is that? I mean, I know the Amber statue, but Amber Motorcycle statue? Okay. Okay, game. I see you. Terra or Terra, here are your missing loyalty points. Thanks for your patience. Oh. I don't know why I, I got given that, but you know what? I'm not going to say no. Unveil the advantage of our newest offering. Click to explore. Oh, it's just, oh, it's going to be this. Okay, so open 15 packs. Hatch one dodo. Heck yeah, that's what I'm here to do. So I'm very curious to see just exactly a dodo will eat. I'm assuming it'll be grass, probably. Um, let's have a look at Lucenozoic, and it'll be at the end, because Dodo, Dodo, wait, where's Dodo? We've got a Dodo. I got a Dodo. Where's me Dodo? Where is Dodo? Hold on. No, it's got to be Cenozoic. Why would it be anything but a Cenozoic? They haven't made it a Jurassic, have they? It'll be herbivore, won't it? They can't have put it in Jurassic. They put it in Jurassic. <laughs> Why did they put it in Jurassic? Why are you there? It could be the this is the second ever flock in the game. It, the other one was a compu, which is a carnivore. This is a herbivore. Out of all the things to make. So, I mean, Dodo was Cenozoic in Jurassic Park Builder. Oh, that brings back me so much memories. I used to sit. I used to sit like this. I used to be cross-legged. And I used to be on my bed. And I used to have the, the this terrible tiny little table with my Mac and my snowball. Blue blue Yeti snowball or whatever it was. Blue, that one, that microphone. And I would put my cushion behind it. So I'd have a little setup and be like, Hello, everyone. Welcome. <laughs> <laughs> I was thinking about Dusty Power Bill, this brings me back to that. Anyway, uh, so. Oh, I don't have any instant speed ups. So, uh, that was a stupid idea. But anyway, the Dodo! Oh, yeah, look at them, they do a little dance! <laughs> Dodos are big. Like, I, I saw one the other day. I wish I'd saw, seen one. No, what I mean to say is I saw a head of one. The only preserved Dodo head that's out there with its skin and stuff. But its head, you know, it's like. Look that big. Huge, huge thing it was. I mean, in comparison to a human, it's not really that big, but for a flightless bird. Yes, there's ostriches and emus. Okay, just shut up. Okay, it's different. <laughs> All right, we're going to put you little... Whoa! You need a lot of space. Okay, what we got? The dodo was a native to the island of Mauritius, east of Madagascar in the Indian Ocean. Oh, and boy, was it. I'd love to have seen a dodo. Oh, dear. Well, anyway, here we go. I like how that one wiggles its butt. I f Ooh, interesting sound. I feel like that is very reminiscent to the one from Jurassic World Alive. Although, Dodo's not in that. But there is something that, like, the, the thing gets taken away and it tries to chase it. But maybe this is a completely unique animation. Oh, yeah, look at them. Oh, they're so happy when you go to greet them. <laughs> Whacking their tails like puppies. Oh, so that, that's the friendly animation where they come to you like, Yes, yes, would you wait? Yes, we like you. <laughs> and what about the angry animation? What's the angry? Tap them loads. Oh, oh, that one fell over. <laughs> oh, they had a good time with us. I want to see the yeah, the one left. Oh, he goes on one leg. I like that, that he puts all his effort into getting up. That one on the left. Let's see it again. Eh. And he goes, eh. <laughs> Oh, these are great. All right, let's speed you up to level 10. 925 health and 96 attack. But really, the fact that it's a flock creature is what you want here. 
Because unless an opponent goes for 8 attack damage, you're safe. And if you had a full team of Flux, you could probably switch. Do saves, do attack. Switch, do saves, do attack. And there's a chance that you'll recover one each time you swap in. So, in theory, the battle could go on indefinitely if you got lucky and you always got another member back. Although, you probably won't, let's be honest. Um, okay, so we, we hatched one. That's good. That's another 200. Good, good, good. Uh, let's have a look to see what else we've got on our agenda. We've got this. Very tempted just to collect everything. You know what? There's one chance of us getting a dodo. And it's in here. 5% chance. 5% chance. What do you think? Let's open a dodo onslaught pack. <gasps> I mean, it was very low. <laughs> if we managed to get it, we could get a level 20 dodo. So, you know. Would have been good. Would have been nice. Lydia, if you if you want to like fix my packs, that would be really good. <laughs> uh, right, okay. So let's see what else is going on. Ooh, in 24 hours we got a new Pteranodon, the Twin Ceridactylus. Okay, completely new. Looks like a VIP creature. Right, something to I will try my best to do. I am going away for like two days, and hopefully it's a week long event. If it is. I'm, I'm glad because I'll definitely have extra time, but also at the same time, it's going to be... The, the cups for these are ridiculous. And now the opponent has a chance to go first, which completely is annoying. <laughs> oh, Panther at level 376. That seems fair. All right. Um, do I have any speed ups? I have three instant recoveries. Hold on. I just want to check. Go back to Nublar for a second here. Let's have a look at these. Get that, get that, get that. So in one day, we get our free hatches back. And I've got three instant fuses to use? Huh. Okay, we should do those. Is there anything that needs fusing? Now, what's great about this game now is you can click on here and click enter. You know what it is? I will just speed this up. Because I think maybe I can use an instant recovery or instant speed up. Oh, I can't. Ah, damn. Okay, okay. So if I spend 100 bucks, it shows you everything that can be evolved. And also if you need food in order to evolve them. So these are all the potential candidates. And I think the ones that are at the top... Oh, no, I think they're all glowing. Yeah, okay. So we definitely don't want to fuse Interruptors because sod that. They're worth way more at level 11. What else have we got in here? Any hybrids that need leveling up? Or super hybrids? Mono Stegatops. Um, we have a Stegoceratops ready. But there's no point doing that. Because it's going to cost us way more DNA. And we lose Stegoceratops anyway. Um, we may as well just get Mono Stegatops and buy that outright. Rather than fusing for the hybrid. Um, pri we've got another... Oh, so these are all ready to be made. Because they're ingredients. Ah, so we want this one really. Let's have a look. Uh, is there anything that's really good here? Rexy? I mean, maybe? All creatures. Let's have a look. What about super hybrids here? Mono Stegatops. Only needs to spend half a million coin. Oh, sorry. Uh, food. I'll confirm that. Wait, hold on. Is it just instant recoveries? Yeah. Yeah, I think it's instant recoveries. Is this what? What do you mean? VIP instant? Cre oh, instant creation from eggs. But that's not right, is it? Because that is instant hatchery, instant creation. And it says I got three out of eight to still use. Yet, I just try. I didn't even get the option there. Enter. I'm so confused. What other way? Can I do it? I don't know, man. Anyway, we'll leave that as is. I thought I was able to do that. Apparently not. Okay. So, Terra... Oh, Pterosaur Terra. Ooh. 10% chance for an Amborgiana. Ooh. Chances are we're probably going to get Aerotitan or Quetzal, but something we never get at... Or a Terrodostro, which is really good. Okay, we're definitely doing this one. <gasps> only what? Oh. Wait, what? Is that the only Pteranodons I have at level 10? <laughs> <laughs> what happened to the rest of them? They must be like level one or something. Okay. 
Uh, let's use one of these guys. Oh, I need. Oh, there's gotta be. There's gotta be other Tyrannomons I have that are legendary. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, I've got loads of the. I've got 10 of these guys. Oh my good god. Well, eight of them. I can make a level four. Do you have a hype? Why do I have eight of you and I've never fused you? <laughs> Why is that a thing? Okay, so now if I go back into battle. Where was it? Here it is. Oh. Tyranodon, level 10. So. Oh, it's specifically this Tyranodon. Oh. Okay. Hi, bad. Never mind. I'm stupid. <laughs> And more importantly, not afraid to admit it yet. Right. Tyrannodon, here we go. Yeah, sorry, I was just thinking about the dodo there. It's such a shame. What, like, there's a few species that... Well, there's probably loads, actually. But off the top of my head, there's definitely a few species that could have been saved by us as humans if we only had the education. You know, Tasmanian tiger, completely eradicated. The dodo, completely gone. There's plenty of other big species of dino uh, dinosaurs, animals, that we could have saved if we'd only known. Um, and I'm wanting to crash my game. But I'm also wanting to, you know, really save what I saw not too long ago, which was the giant Japanese salamander. Or Jap Japanese giant salamander, my bad. Japanese giant, not giant Japanese. Um... And we're going to be doing more of a push to raise funds to just help towards that. Because the, the longer I spent time in Totori and spent time with Richard and edited the video and really put my heart and soul into it, the more I was like, there's got to be, there's got to be more. Because I'm looking at this animal right now and it could be gone in the next 50 years. Within our lifetime, I will see it go extinct. Um, and it will be a case of, you know, it, it might exist in some capacity, but not wild. It'll be like the Chinese giant salamander. That one is basically extinct in the wild. Oh! Oh, you still- so you're all Tyrannodon. Now you want level 20, and I- You bugger you. You give me a really good pack, and you're basically going 10, 20, 30, and 40. I don't have that! Sod you! I can't believe this! You give me a good pack and you're like, well, unless you have a Tyranna level 40, you're not gonna win. Sod you. <laughs> right, anyway, let's do the battle stage in, but that'll be fun. So basically, can't. Well, actually, we could put <gasps> Chroma Spinus. Look at it there. Um, I kind of want to use it. We'll save it, though. And what's my best one? Let's go. Let's go. I want to see Chroma Spino in this arena. This arena looks nice. So, six, seven, eight, nine. I think I can go for a reserve safely and not die in two hits. That's the thought, anyway. Let's have a look. I do... We will use the Dodo. Don't worry. I'm not, I haven't forgotten about that. That's the whole reason we're making this video. We will use the Dodo. But I just want to do this one first. And then... We'll try it in... So I'm trying to think of a good battle arena, but I don't think there really is. To showcase, like, as, as far as lighting goes, I think the Cen... It'd be really cool if one of the Cenozoics was a snow arena. Honest... Oh my god, I think that was a full-out attack. That was like five or something. There is Chroma Spinus, yes! Right, one, two, three, kills you. Then I can just go for four reasons. I'm pretty sure it didn't have anything else. There it is. Wallop! 20,000 damage! Okay, we'll slow it down so we can hear the animations. Panthera has a brown aura. It's like, it's fun. No, he killed my Chroma Spino. I think it might have one block. Might have one block here. Indoraptor level 40. A complete glass cannon. But how much... Oh, God. I'm going to do that. Just in case. Just in case. He did go for the block. But otherwise, I die in two. So that this was the only way for me to safely go for it. Please go for four. Please go for something. Yes! Oh my god, I played it perfect! Yes! Uh, 
just kill it. We kill it in... Oh, no, we don't kill it in two. Ooh, we had to go for three, but bam! 33,000. Woo! That was a close one. I just want to see Chromis mine him. Just want to, just wanted to see it. Anyway, 100 DNA. A VIP mystery pack, which gives us pretty much nothing. <laughs> yes! Right, 30. And there you have it. Okay, so let's see the dodo. We have Mesozoic... Not Mesozoic. Cenozoic and land. Or we just have Cenozoic. I don't think any of them have different, but a snow arena! That would be so cool! Like, it's nice if we go into the Cenozoic arenas in here. And... Oh, they do have different ones, don't they? Because the mammoth, if I remember right. So this is Savannah. Not Savannah. The other one, Plains. But then some of them have different things. Yeah. It, like, just make this a battle arena. That would look so much nicer than the horrible one we've got. I, just put me in charge of Jurassic World the game, please. I'll make it so much better. <laughs> People will be like, oh... Finally, I get to see my woolly mammoth battling in a snow biome. Would you believe that's what people want? I'm pretty sure Jurassic Park Builder gave us that. I'm pretty sure. Why did you fail on it? God damn it. You're the same company. <laughs> anyway. Anyway. Wait. The donor is not Cenozoic. I've just remembered. <laughs> okay. Okay. So, herbivore. Where is it? Level 10. Got some ways to go. Okay, okay. Not as good as a level 10 at that. Still not there. There it is. Right. I mean, really, we should win this? I'll quit if there's a Cenozoic in here, because I want to see it on the helipad. Helipad's the way better arena. <sighs> damn it, damn it, damn it. Yeah, that one. I was like, yes, yes, dear, freaking dear. Right, okay. I mean, is there a way? Oh, hold on. Oh yeah, there we go. That'll do another mission for that. We do that one. Get a little bit more. Do that one. Next one gives us a little bit. Okay, okay. But I, I'm an idiot. I, I didn't realize. But we can't just do Jurassic battles. They always have to have Cenozoic in them. Uh, so we'll choose. Hopefully, that didn't use the dodo. It didn't used to. You know what? Sod it. I may as well use meds to recoveries. Um, and then. Fingers crossed again? Maybe? Come on. No, Zan is out. No. The frick, the frick, the freaking deer, the freaking deer again. The freaking Megalosaurus. Why are you putting that in? I want to see the good ballerina, damn it! <laughs> oh, thank God. There it is. Ooh, yeah, look at them go! <laughs> I kind of want to swap them in as well. I want to see all... We'll do the aid animation. We'll try and do as many animations as possible here. Because we should be able to. Shunosaurus is the only one I need to really worry about. Um, but we'll... We could have went for like 200 attack there. And it would have been wide open. Oh, they look so cute. They have definitely went for the tail feather wiggle. They were like, you know what? That's its animation. So I'm going to go for... Oh, I can't. Ah, okay. So if I... Yeah, but if you switch, then you can go for attack. Okay. So it's gone for four. Still can't kill me all out. That's all I care about. Can't kill me all out. It needs seven to eight, and it's nowhere near. So you basically just have this safety net for two turns at least. Okay. Right. Um, I'm going to switch into our dentist. Our, our dentist Maxima. <laughs> Is that... I feel like that's a hybrid. Our dentist Maxima. 100% right. Like, I didn't just come up with that. It's definitely just a world love. Okay. So seven attack. Please, do your worst. Come on. Go on, then. Five? Okay. Okay, so you've got two block. Fair enough. Fair enough. Right. Let's do this, the seven to eight animation. Let's just go all out. All out. Go on, India! 
1,900 damage they can do. <gasps> oh, the ro Oh, sweet. <laughs> a roly poly attack. Oh, that was brilliant. <laughs> Yeah, they've definitely leaned into the stupid factor with the dodos. You know what? I like it. I like it. Diplocalus, what are you going to do? What can you do? You know what? There's not much you can do. Yeah, let's see the one, one attack animation. Oh, the rev up. And uh, a ah, little peck. Okay, that's good. 7 to 8 animation done. 1 to 2 animation. We've got 3 to 4 and 5 to 6 now. Okay, so let's do the three to four. Oh, it blocked some of it. Three to four. Yeah. Okay, just a, just a little kind of peck, all right. Even if you've got eight, which you do, you do do. But I don't think you're gonna kill me. Even with eight, you might, at a push, do 200 damage. Then I might have lost one of my dodos, and then I'll be mad. Good. Right, let's go for the five to six. Hopefully it goes for a high amount of block. Oh no, one kills her! <laughs> That's the normal animation I'm used to seeing. No, Dodo exists in Jurassic World Live. I'm 100% sure it does. Yes, no it does. Why am I being an idiot? <laughs> How would I forget about it? Anyway, there you go. All the attack animations, the win animation. The only one we haven't seen is the loss animation. But do we really care about seeing the loss? Well, maybe, but... I'm all right. Anyway, guys, a short-ish kind of Jurassic World game video. Uh, just updating you on the new sort of creature as well as the new tournament that's coming up tomorrow, which I actually had no idea about, which has a new flyer. But if you enjoyed this video, guys, leave a like. And until next time, I'll see you guys later. Oh, bye-bye.